welcome back. Today we're in Birmingham. Birmingham. Doing a photography walk. It's a nice late September day. Blue skies. It is due to cloud over at some point in the next few hours, but we're going to take a little wander around the city with a real basic setup camera, one lens, tripod, and just see what we can get. No real goal or mission objective for today other than to enjoy a bit of photography and shoot a bit of a quite like obscure video. So rather than get drawn into the popular tourist places and landmarks just to observe and film the, the obscure or the nitty gritty daily goings on around Birmingham. So not getting drawn into the, the city landmarks and the library and the railway stations. I might do a bit of that, I enjoy it, but also just try and capture a bit of daily life. The obscure stuff that photographers and people like me wandering around Birmingham with a camera might not ordinarily shoot. So that's the plan. I've got the body worn camera on. I'm going to leave it rolling and see if we can find anything interesting. This is St. Thomas's Church. Quite a nice old thing in the middle of town. And I know that just up here behind it, there's the cube building. I've got a great drone shot of this. It's the, the old and the new. Bit of a contrast, I love that kind of thing. We'll see what we can get with the camera and tripod. So I've got a drone shot previously from here. Flying around those two, that's really cool. We'll have a wander down and see if we can pick it up with the camera. Mostly blue skies today. There's a bit of cloud up there. So that old tower is going in and out of light. Bit of light on it there. It's quite nice. Tree moving in the foreground. That's a better shot. Let's catch a bit of these scooter chaps as they're passing by. Can't use your own, you must hire one of theirs. That's a lovely shot. Right, so. That's such a nice shot, I'm going to get a time lapse of it from here somewhere. I'm just trying to decide what I do with the foreground. Some lovely clouds moving in the background, but with that tree 
on the left of frame there that movement is going to look pretty horrible and if the sun comes and goes behind these clouds it's going to start flashing let's see what it looks like I'll get a bit of that while I'm here zoomed in clock just showing cube building in the background bit of tree in the foreground we'll get a time lapse of this but I'll put a really strong filter on it I've got an ND1000 filter somewhere which will really slow down the motion I'll be able to put a shutter speed on it of about one second and really blur those trees out in the foreground get the lens hood back on stop any flare okay filter on let's find the frame something like that we'll focus up on the tower again we'll drop the f-stop down to f9 f8 that'll give me 1.3 seconds per exposure focus up again switch to manual focus we don't want that changing interval shooting is on take 200 shots uh, shot every two seconds it's going to take six minutes 38 everything else is in manual and off we go we'll leave that for six minutes we're at 50 mil there and usually i'd take the microphone off for time lapse but i forgot and i couldn't really be bothered all that does is stop it from shaking which is quite important especially when you're at sort of 50 mil or above on a long lens on a windy day it's a little bit windy today but it should be all right we've got the the strong filter on so it's an nd 1000 and just again the reason for doing that is these trees in the foreground are moving quite a lot in the breeze and slowing that shutter speed down to just over a second will help soften that and it'll stop it being so flickery and sharp um, the, the other good thing that the filter does is birds so if any birds come up into shot which they will do and they have done it tends to make them disappear if you have a shutter speed of a, a 400th or a, a thousandth or something without the filter then you'll see those birds in shot are the two buildings at the end huh <laughs> uh, if, no thank you <laughs> lovely building isn't it this is the cube the cube of Birmingham Few more details of this. Make a little setup for a time lapse. So 
somewhere here, maybe on the corner. Those passing clouds are really nice. A nice little time lapse here. The clouds whizzing past on the left hand side and the reflections being picked up in the window. We'll go F10. No filter this time, there's no motion to try and slow down. I might get the odd bird fly through, but we can deal with that. Just being lazy. And I want to get the exposure time to one second. BBC Birmingham Thousands of them box there nice bit of light on it always a little bit boring you no know, just shooting signs like that I should find somewhere with a bit of foreground it's a bit too dull isn't it Just spotted this interesting contraption. A bit of top class plumbing going on. The bucket's doing a great job catching the water from this overflow up here. Brilliant bit of Birmingham plumbing. If anyone knows these people, Send them to my video. I'll send them the footage. Is it all right to yeah. We disturb you. No, no. Oh, was that you? No, you didn't. Ignore me. <laughs> You'll lose your tea hanging out of your bag like that. My what? Coffee, is it your class? Oh yeah, is it hanging out? I don't want to lose that. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. One for the gram. A few little random shots of the Hyatt building. passing by just wondering if this is worth a quick time lapse over here it's quite a nice scene lighting is not very consistent something like that could be nice 
maybe slow it down, soften the water for the people walking past. Yeah, let's go for that. Get the filter out. Make sure it's all tight. I'm going to leave the mic on because I'm lazy. We're shooting quite wide anyway. Get a focus point on the building on the left, the modern building. Manual focus, 1.3 seconds per exposure. We're going to stop it down f7.1 that'll give us 1.6 seconds per exposure interval shooting on shooting interval two seconds it'll be a six minute time lapse let's see how we get on with the clouds off we go nice camera techniques going on there that's a boring shot if ever I've seen one right where to next what is this thing and this is a restaurant these are tables This will be better from the other side, I think. Get a bit of movement. Focus up again. Lock it off. Thank you, Thank you mate. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. It's a great shot. That'll sell that one. Made in Birmingham. Should we have a bit of that? No. Right, we're going to be ambitious. We're going to try time lapse framed, something like that and try and get some motion blur as people walk through. It's going to be messy, there's going to be people right up in the foreground, like is about to happen now. But we'll see what it comes out like. Always use the rocket blower. It's a lot easier to remove a spot of dust now than it is in post. You learn that the hard way. What I might do is just creep forward and lose a bit of the depth, but creep forward and lose most of these people that are walking through in the foreground by standing here 1.6 seconds ISO 320 f5.6 that's wide open on this lens that'll bring us to about even we'll go to interval mode Do a shot every two seconds. Check the tripod one more time. Check focus one more time. Back into manual focus. And off we go. We're at just shy of 100 mil for a shot that's quite close. No idea what this will turn out like, but you gotta try these things. Just had this guy sit down in front of one of the people on the bench. Not the end of the world. Might look quite good. He's just playing on his phone. Alright, that'll come out okay, I think. Now I want to go and get a coffee.
Thank you. sunshine on the building over there. I'll throw that in. Ah, this is what the police are doing here. The conservatives are here. What's going on? Let's take a look. Yeah, no, it's all right. Thank you. <laughs> nice convenient road that's been blocked off. Let's take a look at this building. I'm going to time lapse this. Aperture priority mode. Go for about F10. One second intervals. Nothing to motion blur on this one. Manual focus, always. Let's go. Look at this. That's fantastic. Got a big crane tearing apart a building over there. Some kind of spray nozzle on the front. Keep the dust down. Oh, check that out. How cool is that? Right up my street this. Zoom right up in there. That's a hell of a lot of water coming out. Got it at the bottom. And a good one on the end of the crane there. What is that, some kind of claw? It's cutting through the concrete tearing it away, ripping at the reinforcing bar. He must have a really strong reinforcing screen on that thing to be able to see through and protect him from anything that's falling. There's some massive boulders of rock falling off. Let's see if we can get a different angle.
restricted area, temporary, active in two days. So we're good, we can fly. That's it for me, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.